What's up, family? Man, I can't believe we're still talking about this. But Flint, Michigan, Flint, Michigan, got the damn nerve to try to charge its residents for toxic water. This despite the fact that some residents in Flint has not had clean running water in years. One of the residents by the name of Melissa May says that she has to drive to a nearby town just to do her family's laundry. She's been in her house for three years. Three years, y'all. No clean water. For the most part. This is, this is ridiculous. And then she gets a letter in the mail from the city of Flint saying that, hey, you either pay for this utility bill or we're going to foreclose on your house. Now, another resident says she didn't even know that she had to pay this bill that they were sending her. They were sending her $84 a month. She had shut off the line to her, her main line to her house, the main water line to her house because the water was contaminated. She said she hasn't had clean running water in years. She shut it off. These bastards sent this woman a bill, man. They sent this woman a bill. Even though they're delivering an inferior service, a, a toxic, a, a poisonous service, they want her to pay for them delivering poison to her. Y'all see where this going? Y'all see how... Y'all see how fucking cynical some people can be? Now, this whole bill crisis uh, affects like 8,000 more Flint residents. All these people receive notices, collection notices. We're going to foreclose on your house. We're going to kick you out. We're going to pay this bill. Or we're going to file uh, civil charges against you. All kind of stuff. It's a shakedown. It's something like $6 million uh, that's due to the city in back bills, okay? So that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to collect. Now, this whole contaminated water issue started in 2014 when Flint started using the Flint River uh, source at, to get their water. And they found uh, levels of... Uh, uh, contamination in the bloodstream of a lot of kids. And so they said, okay, they, we got a problem here. So they switched it over and they started sourcing uh, Detroit's water supply. The feds came in and said, hey, you know, that tap water uh, is drinkable. It's safe to use, but you have to use a uh, point of use filters. So they started using these point of use filters. Come to find out that the point of use filters are a breeding ground for bacteria. This is what the activists in, um, in Flint are saying. They're saying that the point of use filters is not enough. Uh, you got to do more than that. So now, um, there has been 76 confirmed cases of uh, sugarlosis in, in, uh, in Flint. And sugarlosis is caused by drinking contaminated water. You can get, you can get all kind of uh, ailments from it. Uh, we're talking about uh, diarrhea, fever, uh, abdominal pain, arthritis, uh, seizures, bloodstream infections, and of course, death. This is what these people are going through, and they're still going through it all of this time, years later. And it's like their, their uh, elected officials are acting like the problem don't even exist. You don't even hardly hear anything about it anymore. 
These people got contaminated water in the United States of America. This is not a third world country. We're getting closer. It seems like a damn third world country sometimes, especially lately, especially with, with, a, with a, a dictator in the White House. It seems like a third world country, but for all practical purposes, this is supposed to be a first world country. And they got a city in the United States of America in 2017 that's been feeding their population contaminated water and nobody, and I mean nobody, in Congress is doing anything about it. There are some diabolical ass people in this country. We're talking about in business, and we're talking about in politics, and every other major institution. There's some diabolical ass people in this country. Flint flat families should not have to pay for water that they cannot drink and they can't even cook with. They can't even bathe with the water. They should not have to pay for that water, especially when the whole idea of the contamination uh, was spurred on by uh, the callous acts of state officials. The residents seem to have nothing to do with it. So why are the residents being punished? That ain't right, man. Somebody needs to do something about it. Now, what I think they ought to do, I think the residents should band together and countersuit. I don't know why ain't nobody, I don't know if it's been done yet. I haven't heard anything about it. But they need to countersuit with a class action lawsuit and name every damn body. Name the damn mayor, name the, all the officials that, that work for the, the city of Detroit, name Donald Trump, Jeff Sessions, all ambassadors. Name everybody in Congress. Name their family members. Name the children, name the damn dog. Name all ambassadors. This needs to be fixed, man. Somebody needs to do something about this. I say sue all they ass. You know what would be real cool? If we could somehow hook up Flint's water supply to the White House. How quickly do you think they fix that issue then? Just like that. Be done. I can hear Agent Orange doing a press conference right now about it. We had a major issue with contamination in the White House, but we were able to fix it. Unlike Obama, he created the problem and we fixed the problem. We're winners. He and the Democrats are losers. God bless America. Man, that's basically how it goes, man. You got the haves and you got the have-nots. Now, some people say, why don't they just move? Ain't that easy. A lot of these people are elderly. Elderly people don't just get up and move. Most elderly people are going to die in the house they're in right now, wherever they live. And it's no difference. You know, you know some of these people have paid for their homes or they paid their mortgages down to uh, a number that they can they can manage and they can't get that number nowhere else. Now, what would be cool if they would somehow win a class action lawsuit and then that would give them some options. So that's what I'd like to see them do. Sue their asses, sue everybody, sue as many ambassadors as you can and get that bread, man, because this ain't right. This problem should have been fixed. This is the type of stuff you hear about in third world countries. You know, the more and more I live, the more and more I see a lot of similarities to third world countries right here in America, starting with our president. Well, not my president, your president. I'm gonna tell you what I think the people of Flint should do. 
They should pay them bastards in Monopoly money. Here, I'm paying for water I can't drink with money you can't spend. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Damn. Order of protection.